Hi, we're in Taikomi and we're at the water filtration uh, plant. And I'm here with Jesus and Miguelito, and they're both both much again uh, community members. And we're at the pre-filter. And so this, um, we first capture the water, and the water flows to this pre-filter. No, Miguelito. And um, normally, once the water flows through this first pre-filter, which is loaded with um, one centimeter rock, as you can see here, right? And then, um, then it flows on to slow sand filtration tanks. So, Miguelito, puedes abrir este, este tanque? And these are geomembrane tanks. This is the first time ever um, that we piloted these, um, these tanks. And it really cut down two months of constructing w the old way with concrete tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this is loaded with uh, rock and sand. And uh, slow sand filtration has been around for over 200 years. And it is one of the best uh, ways uh, to filter water, right? And so once the water passes through this filter, um, any bacteria is eliminated. And up to 99.99% of the bacteria is eliminated from this tank. And uh, then it flows on to this 18,000 uh, liter reservoir tank. And uh, after it leaves this tank, it flows throughout the community in uh, 4.5 kilometers uh, to individual homes. So today I want to give special tank thanks, uh, I said special thanks, but special thanks to Life Source uh, Water Systems, who um, has been the, the sponsors of these tanks. And um, really, we're so very proud of our association with you and over the years how you have been here for the people and as we deliver clean water. We're not using chlorine in the system here. We're piloting it, and we're um, so far so good. And um, so thank you, Life Source. Thank you, BJ Wright, and your whole team at Life Source Water. Uh, for all that you do for the people here in this remote part of the uh, protected zone of the Mano National Park in the southeastern Peruvian Amazon. So thanks for following, and there'll be surely more to come. Bye for now.